Okay. So, this is now the third time that I have uh, made this video answering Flock to Tokyo's questions. I'm yelling now because the first video, the fucking webpage refreshed. Shut the fuck up. Shut it. Shut up. Dixie. No. Hey. Stop it. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop. Sit down. I'm angry, okay? Can I be angry without you barking? Okay. And last time I recorded this video, you couldn't hear anything. So here I am yelling at you because I don't fucking even know why. Okay. So, <laughs> the first question he asked me was, what do I like or dislike about being an exotic dancer? I love the job dancing. Um, it's a blast. And there's a lot of really good things that can come from it. It's like a, I get a free workout every day. I get to check out these guns. You see that? That's from being a pole dancer. Um, I get to listen to good music all night long. Um, I get to come up with and learn new really cool uh, pull tricks that you wouldn't think is possible. Um, I can put my own little attitude into my dancing so everyone knows, you know, I'm different from all the other dancers. Um, I get to meet the occasional cute boy that doesn't want to take me home. That's always nice. I'm sorry I'm in your face right now because I'm afraid if I get any further away you're not going to be able to hear me, so sorry. <laughs> Ah, frustration! Um, the only thing I really dislike about it is, and it's not even the dancing, it's the club I work at, is um, we don't get a paycheck, we don't get, we don't have, you know, like a steady, you know, guaranteed income every week, so it pisses me off when guys come into the club, pay the 15 bucks at the door, and then sit in the back of the room on their fat ass, take advantage of the view for free, and take advantage of the free soda, like, we're not making any money off of you. If you want to come in, at least tip us on stage. If you're not going to tip us on stage, buy a lap dance or two, you know. Don't just fucking sit in the corner and get pissed off when girls come up and ask you constantly if you want to dance. Motherfucker, we can see you're not getting dances. Generally, you go into a strip club to get dances, okay? So don't get pissed off when we are coming up to you constantly asking you if you want to dance because that's what you do. You don't fucking sit in the back of the goddamn room, enjoy the view and the fucking free soda, okay? Um, and the only thing, other thing I hate are the assholes I have to deal with and believe me, I have had a few assholes. Some people just don't think that strippers have um, feelings, we're not real people, okay? We are the same kind of person that you'd meet at a fucking parent-teacher conference, okay? We are not like strange beings, we're fucking, dude, your girlfriend, like, we're the same fucking people as anyone else, so don't be a fucking asshole, because half the girls I work with could kick your fucking ass, so, yeah, fuck you. Um, the second question he asked is, is it like the movie Showgirl? It is similar, but it's not really the same. This is fucking State Line fucking Idaho. Okay, this is state line Idaho. There's not a whole lot of competition. There's two strip clubs in like a 100 mile radius. So um, there's not a lot of reasons that you can you can't really climb your way to the top of the ladder because there's the ladder is you know two feet high. Um, girls can be catty like anywhere. It's like a big evil sorority at state line at any strip club. It's like a big like fucked up sorority. So, basically, we have girls that have been there for like seven years, ten years, whatever, and they'll get pissed at you if you use their counter space, okay? You fight over counter space usage, which is fucking ridiculous anywhere else, but it's, you know, it's just, it comes along with the job. Um, you fight over who can dance to what music, you can fight over you know, girls have their regulars, so you can't talk to their regulars, and if they do, they'll fucking scratch your eyes out. Um, the main thing that people get pissed, shush, thief, the main thing that people get pissed about is um, the new 
new girls. And the reason is, is because new girls don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know what to expect when walking into a strip club. You cannot walk into a strip club acting like your shit don't stink because you will get run the fuck over. So, basically, you come in and you earn your position in the club. You can't just come in and just because you're pretty expect to be treated just like everyone else. It doesn't work like that. Like I said, it's a sorority. Do you walk into a sorority and say, I run this bitch? No, you don't. You, you gotta earn your, earn your stay. Um, the last question he asked me is, would I be happy if my younger sister followed in my footsteps? No, I would kick her fucking ass if I had a sister. I don't have a sister. I'm an only child, and that is why I have the time to do this. Um, if the reasons were right, then I probably would try to support her the best way that I could. Um, you don't just wake up one day deciding that you want to be a stripper. It doesn't work like that. You have to, you know, try other things first. You don't just resort to stripping. You look for other jobs. You look into a career. You look into schooling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, everyone has a reason for what they do. So if there's a dancer in a club and she might look a little overweight and tired all the time and you know like she might look kind of you know sloppy on stage because she's probably exhausted she's probably a single mom she probably need she probably has thousands of dollars in bills every month she might have a sick kid at home she can't afford to feed her kid you know like everyone has a reason to do what they do you don't just go in there because you think that you're pretty and you want to be looked at by a bunch of guys like it doesn't it doesn't really work like that you try other things before you resort to stripping so that is my view and that is the questions you asked me so those are the questions I answered this is a minute shorter than last time I hope you can hear me in there and catch you on the flip side